everyone. I have announcements video this week. Last week, I forgot to, well, forgot and didn't get it done in time. So uh, I want to first remind everyone to use your directories. If you find mistakes in this, please let me know. You can email me or text me or VP call me. And you can find my current information on this purple page that was included in your packet. So please uh, let me know if you find mistakes and then I'll get uh, revisions out to you. Uh, probably next month I'll do another packet of information for you. So I also would like to remind everyone, please check in with your small groups. So I included this in your packet of information as well. This came out before Easter. So please check in with people in your small groups. And um, maybe if you are like, I don't know what to say to people or what am I supposed to talk with them about? Uh, here's a suggestion. You can start the conversation with this question. What is one new thing that you have been thinking about? And then they might ask you back, so be ready with your answer, about what you've been thinking about something new, you've been wondering about. So I want to encourage you to continue to reach out to one another. It's really important as we're separated from one another, and it's going to continue. This is going to continue for a while, and so we have to practice how do we stay in touch? We have all kinds of really great technological resources so we can see each other's faces. And we just need to make sure we're taking time to do it. Because I know for me, uh, one day can like start at eight in the morning and then pretty soon it's like four in the afternoon. And sometimes I even forget to stop and eat lunch. And then pretty quick I'm like, wait, it, it's only noon and no, it's, or in the afternoon, oh my gosh. So um, we have to take time, make time to check in with one another. So I encourage you, please use your directory. And if you find mistakes, please let me know and I'll get things corrected and sent out to you. Um, and then just a reminder again about giving and sharing your financial resources with Bread of Life. Um, <clears throat> please continue to send your checks to Bread of Life. We are checking the mail regularly and getting those things brought in. So think, uh, the checks that are sent are secure. And the reason we ask for your ongoing support and to share your finances with Bread of Life is that we are still the church. We are still working with God for the ministry and the work that God calls us to do. We are sharing the good news of God's love with deaf people and their families. Right? And so the financial support that we get from our members and from our participants is really important for us to be able to continue to do this. And I am working to get our online giving stuff set up. Um, there's been just a lot of, there are a lot of parts to it and I've had a lot of other um, things I've been working on. So I wanna, I am still working on it as, uh, as are the finance committee folks, but it just takes some time. So we'll be communicating about all of that as soon as is possible. And once things are set up and ready to go, we'll let you know. So I want to thank you all for your faithfulness because as I said, we are still the church. We are still working with God and we have opportunity before us right now in this moment that we have not had before. For many years, it has been a goal at Bread of Life to get online and to connect in an online way. But because we were together in person, we were sort of distracted from that goal. And now we have personal experience with what it feels like to be alone, what it feels like to be disconnected. 
have this experience, this opportunity, because now we have some sense of how others may feel when they don't know God loves them. So in this time, notice what are the things you miss? What do you need? What helps you find reassurance? Those things are really important for us to notice. They help us be able to connect and relate to others in a way that without this experience, we would not be able to do. So this is an opportunity. As hard as it is to be so spread out, it's an opportunity to notice something new about life. And finally, uh, I want to make one special thank you announcement. I want this week, I want to say a special thank you to Janie Barlow. Janie has gone above and beyond in terms of working, working with us, uh, working with me and working with the finance committee and um, helping get council people organized. And I just want to say thank you, Janie for your leadership and your service. And then for all of the rest of us here at Bread of Life, I want to encourage you, please send a thank you note to Janie. Write her a note quick. She's in the directory. Find her name and address. And say thank you, Janie, for your service and your leadership at Bread of Life. And that's all the announcements for this week. And uh, I look forward to um, hearing from you and checking in with folks as we go. And um, everyone, please take good care. <laughs>